Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Thursday, September 21st. We have six eBay orders. This is an authentic Pokemon Leaf Green. We can tell it's authentic by the way the board reads. You can see in there it reads Nintendo. That's one of the ways to tell. These little stamps on here. And there's no Chinese on the, uh, on the board leaking through the cartridge on the back. This sold for $27. We sold the Black & Decker charger for $25 that we picked up a couple days ago. That was a quick sale. We also sold the Cat Vintage Tree Bark, Tray Bark, whatever. Thanks to everyone who helped me identify this type of camo. Vintage Caterpillar hat, this sold for 26 bucks. Sold another mint condition copy of Sonic 2 for $18. Not an $18 game, but condition is king. This thing is crispy, crispy mint. The hang tag is perfect. The manual looks like it's never been touched, and the game itself looks like it's never been removed and played. This thing is gorgeous. And somewhere over here I have hiding a skateboard. This is a small skateboard. It's like a kid's skateboard. It's smaller than anything an adult would use. It's a real board, like it's from a skate shop. It's got thunder trucks on it. Don't know what wheels these are, but it's sold for 36 bucks shipped. It's out of here. And the last thing we sold is Seth McFarlane's Twisted Christmas, I think it is. Sent this into FBA, it never sold, and I put it on eBay. Sold for 25 or 26 shipped. It is a really twisted looking deer. Watching a Cody vlog over here while I pack my orders. Cody! Also sold one of the worst models of the uh, insoles I got from Gander Mountain. Sold these for 15 bucks. Nothing too complicated to ship today. We just got some bubble mailer for the game, a perfectly shaped eBay box and some bubble wrap for the charger. Hat box. The uh, Sonic 2 is bubble wrapped in there. The McFarlane reindeer is in that box. Skateboard was probably the most complicated. I did have a good sized box in the garage. If I didn't have this, I would have just bubble wrapped and bagged it. And in the meantime, I am working on my loan payment update cards. Should be getting this film today before it gets too crazy. Brother and sister-in-law and nieces and nephews should be here in like an hour. So I'm like on a little bit of a time crunch. And my brother and sister-in-law and their, my nieces and nephews, they actually live in Indiana part of the year. And then my brother is a baseball coach right now. His coaching is in Florida, which is awesome. It's about, about 45 minutes away from where we live. So it's perfect for part of the year to be down here. Uh, he gets to see grandma and us when he's in Florida. I have actually never met these nieces. This is my first time meeting my twin nieces. They were born in March when I was still overseas. I think I was in Thailand or Japan. March, March I was still in Thailand. Now they are no longer in the potato phase. They are in the cute chubby baby phase. So it'll be nice to meet, finally meet them. So we also sold this Ross and Jersey on Etsy for $65 going to Australia, but Homeboy sent me a message saying send it to Miami. And then Etsy sent me a message saying don't send it to anybody, cancel the order, it's a fraudulent charge. So unfortunately it's sold and then unsold on Etsy. That's definitely a trombone. Did we get rain? Oh, we took on a lot of water. Dang it, this thing is not waterproof. You got one baby in the arm? <laughs> what up? How can I even give you a hug? <laughs> Town Church. Hi! Say hi, Ellie. Good to meet you. All right, so this is my brother, Nate. Yo. This is my sister-in-law, Amy. Hello. This is my first ever nephew ever. Nathaniel. Say hi. Oh, dude, he's got some strength. <laughs> and you're all tatted up. Who gave you sleeves? I, I'm not sleeve. Those are, those are tattoos. All right, let me guess who this is. Brown-eyed beauty. It's Emma. That's so easy to tell because one got brown eye and one got blue eye. Oh my gosh, the eyes are so pretty. So which one do I look like? That one? This one? This one? Look at that picture. I don't have blue eyes though. Hi! She's just staring. She's like, what the heck? Hi! Uh oh. We're about to get a cry. I see a winced face. The picture that's on that. It said this yeah. one looks like me. Even the hair is the same. <laughs> oh, now we get some smiles. Oh, and that shut her right up. That was easy. Instant. <laughs> They're just hungry. You bald. Uh, Martin's baby got more hair than her. Here's Nate and Amy's ride. It is an Escalade ESV. Look at that. It just makes my van look like crap. 
What are you doing? Fancy. And they took it to the car wash and this back piece was loose, so I just popped it off. And we found a broken retaining clip for the body with my tool here. So let me put these back in. <laughs> Is it gonna go in between? My mom just came home from lunch because she was excited to see the grandbabies. Oh, it's such a big girl. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. That'll be in the video. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get tacos, Mexican food. Nate's having me drive the Escalade. Electronic mirrors. Aww. Let's go. Wow, it drives very smooth. I wish my van drove like this. We're getting Mexican food. I have a baby in my hand. Mexican food, everyone drank, so I'm volunteering to drive. DD. I'm volunteered. I, they volunteered me to drive. <laughs> Ugh, baby goes in. Oh my gosh, it's, it snaps right it's got a level bubble on it. <laughs> so the van threw a code. It is a P0301 cylinder one misfire. Cylinder one is on the firewall side of this V6, so it's difficult to get to. I'm gonna work on it tonight, pretty much for the next couple hours. I'm not gonna drag everyone through van content, but if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hopefully get this problem fixed tomorrow. It actually feels causative, like it was my fault that it threw the cylinder one code, but it very well could have just been the spark plugs or the coils or the boots or whatever failing, but we'll see. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning, bye. After ripping off whatever the intake manifold or ple pleuria or whatever the heck this thing's called, I figure it out. Um, this is my cylinder one. There is water that has got up in there, which means it is of my own fault because I was driving the van through water like crazy yesterday, like an idiot. So it was not the kid's fault. It was user error. I took off the, the under shield when I was working on the timing belt. I haven't put it back on yet, and I guess that protects water from getting flung up underneath and soaking parts of the engine. And I had got some water into where the spark plug hole is. It's all gooshy. Let me get, see if I can get the sound. I could see the water on here when I pulled it out, but listen to that water. That's water in there, and anybody who's anybody knows that there's not supposed to be, there you go, there's not supposed to be water inside the spark plug boot because that can throw a P0301 code and cause cylinder failure.